You are looking at a Luna Moth, a member of Saturnidae, or the giant silk moth family. And they are giants as moths go, anywhere between four and a half and seven inches across the outstretched wings. They are lime green with purple edging on the forewing. The male Luna Moth, like this one, has broad feather-like antenna. The female Luna Moth is almost identical in size and color, but they have much more narrow antenna. When they're ready to mate, females release sort of a chemical perfume. The males use their antenna to sense that perfume and locate the female. The head of the Luna Moth is quite simple, holding the antenna and two large compound black eyes. They have no functioning mouth parts, nor a digestive system. The imago or adult stage is simply the reproductive stage of this animal's life cycle. The thorax is the locomotion segment of most insects, holding the wings and legs, and all the muscles associated with flight and walking. The Luna Moth wings have special adaptations called eye spots, which when flashed can be distracting to predatory birds like owls. And the long, narrow, tail-like section is especially distracting to bats' echolocation sonar. The abdomen holds the reproductive organs and the spiracles through which the moth breathes. Luna moths lay their eggs on host plants. The host plant is what the caterpillar will start eating when it emerges. In the south it includes black walnut, butternut, hickories, persimmon, sweet gum, alder, beech, willow, wild black cherry and sumac. In about a week, the caterpillar hatches out of the egg and begins its first instar stage. Throughout the caterpillar's development, it will go through five instar or sheddings to become the full-grown caterpillar. In just four weeks, the caterpillar will have moved through all five instar stages and be a full-grown caterpillar. At this stage, they have a defense mechanism. If they're harassed or touched in the head, they will emit a clicking sound. If provoked, they will click harder and harder and then regurgitate foul-smelling, half-digested bit of ooze, which is very unpleasant to predators. When it's ready, the caterpillar will roll a leaf and use the silk that silk moths are famous for to roll a leafy, webby cocoon. And this is a picture of the completed cocoon. Luna moths are a beautiful and fascinating part of our natural heritage. This one is shuddering. Shuddering warms up its body, getting ready for flight. And off it goes. <laughs>